Hello, welcome to the remedy. It's another Saturday. It's been a minute. Um, we've been having issues here and there, but it's always a great time to catch up with you guys again. If you're tuning in, thank you so much. Uh, you're on ETV empowering you, and today we're talking about quite an interesting topic again about relationships. What else can be better? I'm not alone. I'm with Christine, and maybe later someone else is going to be joining us. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're still in the remedy. I'm here with Christine. Christine, welcome to the remedy. Welcome Thank to ETV. You. You're home. Thank you. You want to say a few words before we start? Introduce yourself to, mm. to the viewers. Yeah, sure. My name is Christine Carter and I work with um, Bara University of Science and Technology in the branch office. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm happy to be here. AIC TV, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm hoping to share a lot uh, with you and the public. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Christine. You guys have had uh, almost a product of Mask by the Umbara University of Science and Technology. If you are a product, shout out, leave a like, subscribe, because hey, you're home. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about relationships. First of all, we're talking about rejection in a relationship. A rejection, um, for instance, you know the star, I don't know if girls do this, I don't, I assume we don't, but if you like someone and you approach them and they reject your proposal, how is it handled? Have you ever been in a situation like that? Uh, not really, but I know naturally as, as girls and in African tradition, we so are traditional. Traditional. We are not <laughs> meant. Uh, the girls are not meant to propose to men. Mm. It's the other way around. Uh, the men propose to us. So uh, personally, mm. I haven't been in such a, a situation. But I know uh, uh, times have changed, and some girls uh, do like men. And some of late have started approaching the men. The audacity. Eh? Yeah. So mm. slowly a girl can say, yeah, I like you. I like mm. this guy. They call it crush. Uh, they crush on some men. And uh, along the way, they find a way to approach them, uh, either by getting closer to them or showing them some affection. Or to, saying uh, it. Or saying it. Uh, verbally to, uh, to let them, the man know that really this lady likes mm. them. And yeah, and the girls also can uh, can face uh, rejection in circumstances like those, as well as men. I don't think, uh, anyway, I don't know if a lady is supposed to. Traditionally, men are created with the audacity mm -hmm. to face women. If you like someone as a man, you have the courage, you're supposed to have the courage to talk to them, right? Sure. So if you can, I mean, most of the most of my most of my few friends I've talked to, and asked them if a girl approached you. Of course, they have. They have been approached. Did you like them the same? No, they feel pity instead. And anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the rejection. Me personally, I've experienced losing friends. Like guys, he's a, he's your friend. You're very cool, and when he starts proposing some things that you're not interested in, and you refuse. He becomes an enemy. Does it ever happen to you? Yeah, of course. As girls, when sometimes you get closer to the uh, the opposite sex just mm. for friendship, and then the the guy might misinterpret you as being uh, showing some some interest. Some interest. Mm. Yeah. So when when that happens and a guy really now comes into you and wants you to get intimate, while for you your interest was just friendship, and then you reject him at that point and say, "Look, I am I I was there for mm. maybe a friendship," and then you put them in that friendship zone. They are like uh, they go they yeah. would want to go They're deeper. They are not happy. So yeah, it happens, uh, and then. The girl is uh, is rejected at that point, 
and the girl is also rejected again. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, because the guy the guy hates you yeah. becomes but I don't is that how they're supposed to I think we would we would use a guy's help if you're out there watching. Mm. If we could get a guest later. Mm. We could use a guy's opinion, but is it how they're supposed to react? Why do they react like that? Most of them. Because my, it is it hurts to lose a good friend out mm-hmm. of selfish interests. Yeah, I think in terms of uh, maybe science or biology, they say <laughs> once uh, the, the proximity that mm. you create between the two of you, yes, your friends, you're reading together, you're going out together, but the, the proximity, you, and, you and, and him are now getting closer. And so feelings coming mm. along the way. Uh, of course, you ha- we have it in mind that it was not the intention, mm. but then along the way the feelings come, and the guy is into you and he wants some some love. So it's not that they are supposed to do that, but uh, naturally when you get closer mm. day by day, I think those, the feelings naturally they come, come and you, the, the guy now advances. Even when you have been friends for uh, uh, many, yes. many years, and then, uh, like a girl, you're shocked. Where is this coming from? No, no. Yeah, for some people it has worked, and they end up getting married. But for some, if the if one of you is not into it, then yeah, it the friendship work dies out. just That's, like that. I remember him saying, "We boys, boys never become friends without that intention of <laughs> wanting something more." Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Maybe the viewers can give us a hint on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. If, I don't yeah, know why. I, I hear um, mm-hmm. some of my friends, the men, they say, mm-hmm. What do you think I need from you when I come to you? I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are heading to that. They are thinking that they, eventually they, he, they will head they to, will head to, to, yeah, to, to, to vibing. that, to vibing, to sex, and maybe marriage later. Mm. So it's not like a casting stone that when they are with you, they will just not talk about it. Mm. Very yeah, but it's mm. not fair. I I hope the viewers, mostly guys, it's not fair to come. If you hit on me and I refuse, you're not supposed to hate me. Mm. Yeah, we can still be <laughs> we can still be friends. I agree. On, I agree. on some other terms, uh, not those. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, we are, we are different. When you reject their uh, proposal, some people mm. fear. They feel, they, they, are, they feel defeated. defeated. Their ego is defeated. There is some anger that develops within them. Mm. And then they go through that stage. Sometimes they can hate you for a while and then they return to you. They say, okay, whatever happens, whatever happened at that time, please, let's mm. move on with let's the friendship on. and leave yeah, the that other. Is, yeah. That is some level of maturity mm. that not every person has. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't. It's not. It's not a guarantee that when you like someone, they're going to like, to you, like back. you back. So how to handle rejection when you're rejected? Move on and look at something better, something else you could. Mm-hmm. What do you think someone should do when they are faced with a rejection like that? Okay, I, I think when a rejection comes and to either sex, uh, one should ensure that uh, they first, uh, of course. It's normal to get annoyed and angry, mm. and then one should accept that this has happened, mm. and so they find a way of moving on. Mm. Uh, of course, there are stages that one can go through when they, they are rejected. Mm. In the first place, you will get annoyed, and then you get into that denial that maybe this man is just a joker. They will come back yeah, at one yeah, point. Okay. You, did, you, you are in, the, in that denial process, and then along the way, when they don't come back, you you get depressed a bit, especially if you love them that much. Uh, some depression comes in, and then I think at one point you will get over it. You accept this happened. I need to move on, and that it it may take a while because uh, we are different. We are different in personalities and character. For some people, it takes uh, a few months. For others, it takes years. So depending on the person, uh, mm. once you accept and then you, you, you move on. And when you move on, uh, you find things touched by yourself. If you have a job, concentrate on the job. Mm. 
work and growing on growing yourself, growing yourself career yeah. wise business wise whatever you can do so find some time to be yourself work on some things get busy yeah. for those who love traveling please travel as much as possible traveling actually removes some stress from okay. you and that depression that the, the other guy or woman has has caused travel mm -hmm. a lot and then also share with friends not strangers you can choose some friends that you trust mm, that i hit on that guy <laughs> yeah you no. share with some friends that you <laughs> trust yeah you know a problem a shared is a problem uh, solved sometimes so mm. you need to share with your friends and t talk about it a little more mm. at one point uh, i think the, the friends may advise you of on, on the steps to take Mm. for you to get out of that uh, uh, anger and rejection that you, you're feeling. Mm. So I think, yeah, and people have moved on. From rejection? From, uh, I, think, I think a rejection, okay, first of all, you're not yet in a relationship, mm -hmm. so you're just proposing something. You mm. should be ready. It is like applying for a job. Mm -hmm. You can't be sure you're going to get it or not. You should be ready for anything. Anyway, what do I know? Uh, I'm just a host for this show. <laughs> you could use a guy's opinion. So you guys, let's go in a short break and we shall be back. Bananga wa mina bachara, nazi kubanyonyora, mtikuwa wangu orina mkoro kwa nyaka orina. Oyakara kuyungi ni nyumba, orina ronchi yokora, orina mwoteri, orina mbaga, orina urumbe, orina burika nonde yona. Ngoyakara wa kutere kuzumu, youtube, wamina ku facebook. Yakara kukamanta, haiti tv, mewa somero kubera nga batikuri wa kuburu unjinyo, baina kamere nunyi nkamge, barikiri ya nyo, mama nyichi wakora, imbyuru zungu, imbyuru ganda, imbyuru nyankore, burika nonde yona. Bakutere kubutezi. Norgoeche mkwana jafi. Welcome back from that break. Uh, you guys, by the way, I tell you, always, we're always with Henry behind the camera. We're still on the remedy and we are joined with some other guests. So, <laughs> he's Mark. We could use a guy's opinion. I told you, uh, Mark, before we go into it, would you like to introduce yourself, say a few words? Uh, it's very okay. Um, call me to come shall mm. uh, then uh, you can also talk about your attire. <laughs> <laughs> My attire, uh, yeah. Again, you can call me Mark T Dances. Uh, that one is a business name, mm -hmm. uh, Mark T Dances. Uh, yeah, that's me. And the so attire, I think I'm joined by yeah, my mom. Your mom. Mm. Wow. Definitely. Uh, she, she was like, you yeah, look your neck. Every time you're in jeans, you're in this. No. True African mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so, Mark, thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. You and Christine, a pleasure to host you today. Mm -hmm. We're talking about rejection. Mm -hmm. Christine shared her part. I talked about something. Have you ever been rejected by a lady before? Uh, I think uh, for all my time, I was rejected once. <laughs> once. Uh, really? Was, How yeah. old are you? I'm, uh, 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 okay, it's fine. I'm 23. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Mm. But so, for all your 23 years, you've been rejected once. Okay, mm. how did you handle the, the rejection? Uh, sometimes you have to think mature and mm -hmm. take it calm because everything mm. you don't have to bump into it you just have so, to take it easy mm. uh, if you're rejected maybe there are some reasons so you tell do you mind telling us what happened uh like i approached someone and this uh this lady mm. she was not a lady she was a young girl but of course she was my uh, age mate. yeah my age man so i approached her and i think she was coming from uh, I think a good background and a rich family. Mm -hmm. So Kati, she saw this guy who is coming to date Kati, and she never wanted these celebrity, celebrity people. Eh? Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. to divide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was like, ah, no, 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 me to date a dancer, I mm. can't. I was like, you know, with you, if uh, if uh, and I was like, okay, I took it easy. I was like, uh, if the school can trust me with their with their like to publish the school like because i was mm. uh, in a school where i was on bursary and they could trust mm. me they say you go and perform somewhere mm. i go uh, 
So, like, I was like, if the school can trust me, then why can't you trust me with your heart? She was like, <laughs> ah, you were here? Like that, but I took it easy, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> she had, I had a lot of words. And she was like, Mom, I won't listen to you. Mm. But I went, I told my friends, I was like, the girl is hard. She mm. doesn't want celebrities. So I, I was like, <laughs> Madam, the next day, I was like, I'm willing to stop be- dancing. Dance. I'm not a dancer now, but okay. I'm willing to be with you. Still, I was lying. She mm. saw it. She was like, you're lying. So mm. if you're rejected, if yeah. you're rejected, because I first learned what she loved and what she hated. That's the first thing I did, but I couldn't win her. So I, did you remain friends? Yeah, I took it easy. Of course, if you need something, you have mm. to take it cool. So you took it easy because you still had hopes to... Yeah, I, I, I took it easy and I was like... <laughs> but at the end, she rejected and she was like... Even whenever she could see me, she could put a tough face because she knew I would, I would always come say hi. Yeah. And she could put a tough face so I'm like... Uh, but you don't know when I, so I, when I, I, I approached her again, she's like, you should give me, because you don't give me peace, you get? Yeah. But me, I couldn't quarrel, you get? I could be humble, because I wanted her to see, like, not to think the other thing she knows uh, that I am into. I'm I'm this person, so I could stay humble. So mm. sometimes when you're rejected, and again, it depends to a person. Mm. Personal mark, I might be humble, but there's someone out there who is very like whenever they reject you, you're like man, like a stone, and you start uh, fighting, you start mm. quarreling, you know. So we have different hearts, yeah. we have different minds. So me personally, uh, when I'm rejected, I think it was once, but when I'm rejected again, if I try something and they reject me, <laughs> I think I'll always take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, because I know one day I'll win. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so you've had some friends who have not taken it quite well after being rejected mm. in relationships. Yeah. And right mm. now, if they meet themselves, akokademu <laughs> kantama, kepa, like you get yeah, yeah. such things. So you're like, why? Man, you get? So yeah, that yeah, life. Uh, yeah, I so, think uh, again, thank you, Mark. Uh, it goes uh, again to personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. Because uh, some men are gentle, others are just uh, hot tempered. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I mean, others are proud, so, they don't want uh, to feel they, rejected. Exactly. They mm. feel that uh, any woman that they tap on should actually accept. Mm. But that's not the case. Yeah. So, depending on the personality of a person, their background, mm. they treat challenges and rejections differently. So, that's why some people behave differently. Mm. Someone may even fight. They, they, they go they go on to follow you up and stalk you. This girl rejected me. Well, who is she with now? Mm. Mm. And they follow up on you. They see whom you're with. They, they are like, oh, oh, what was the matter? I see the, the, the guy that she's with now is not even better than me. I know, I know. Yeah. Why are and you comparing They are comparing self? themselves with the, the, the man that you chose yourself. Mm. And uh, of course, love really is... Uh, it is, uh, they say it is uh, a choice, a choice mm. to somebody who is into it. Mm. I may not love you because maybe I have my criteria that I follow mm. for love, that list, and maybe the other person actually has most ticks than you. Than you, yeah, than yeah, you. yeah. So I think comparison is bad, and stalking somebody because they have rejected you is also worse. Yeah, so worse. You should try to accept and try your lucky elsewhere because mm. there are many girls in the world mm. you can always some, uh, find some love the somewhere problem else. is mm. uh, these guys some guys know when you're handsome or when you're beautiful <laughs> you don't have to be rejected yeah yeah you get, so. if you have money you don't mm. have to be rejected mm. if you're from a good background so some people forget that there is love. Mm-hmm. I, I, mm-hmm. four, four letters, but it's it's meaningful. Yeah. So uh, they think that when you're handsome, when you're beautiful, no one should. Re- but everyone, mm-hmm. I nature go very yeah, to sure. fall in love with someone. Yeah. May I have girls like they are beautiful. They have each and everything, but they like funny guys. 
You get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if I get a funny guy, <laughs> uh-huh. he, I'll, I'll that's the guy yeah. I want. Yeah. So, so even if the guy is ugly, mm-hmm. but to me, I believe there is, there is no person who is ugly because they always mm-hmm. say, too much fun and jack at home. Yeah. But these guys here, they think that if you're good, if you're, you have money, if you're from uh, maybe yeah, a president uh, from mm-hmm. the first family, mm-hmm. you don't have to be rejected. But I've been with people. Do you want to be in a chayagara? Because me personally, I have things I love. Mm. You get on a person. If I see someone, and I'm like, hey, that person. I can be, I can be uh, convinced by a dimp, by a gap, by your. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Yeah. There are things that convince me to be like. I think I can I can be with her. Eh? Yeah. If you even if you're checking my friends personally, mm. all my friends, many of them they have dimples. Boys, girls, all that. Me personally, I love people with dimples, gaps, people who are well behaved, you know, mm. that are not uh, disappointing. That's me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, we are my natural yoga, I think. Yeah, definitely. And you know that there are also some girls who find it hard to reject. You have like seven people in your, on your, in your list. Yeah, on your list. <laughs> Everyone is hitting on you and you're like, huh, this guy is good. Mm. If I reject him, he's going to hate me. Mm. So you find her juggling mm. like all of them at the same time. Mm. So that's also not cool. Yeah, I don't mm. think it's, it's a nice thing. To <clears throat> it's not a nice thing and it also requires confidence, mm. self-confidence. You don't have to keep someone around mm. for reasons you don't like because you don't want them to like mm. you. You, even you end up losing your life because they think you'll be with those seven people mm. yet they are putting their hearts they are putting their yeah, yeah. mind and one day yeah, someone yeah. is like she has yeah. always been wasting She's my time let me do me. this mm. you you end up being embarrassed you know mm. so yeah it's not, I, I, it's I not think good being also. a player is also uh, not a nice thing and it, mm. it hurts it hurts you at the end of the day because yeah. you, you think you think you're hurting the other seven mm. that you're playing mm. but at the end of the day you also you're not at peace mm. yeah at her aim was not to hurt them she's mm. fearing to reject them she's fearing to reject them so that yeah so yes. she ends up juggling one of them, but it's not cool. Yeah, okay, I get it. I think mm. uh, girls should be confident. Mm. Yes, because it's the men that advance, they propose to us. Most of the So times. we don't call them. So it's possible to have seven, twelve on your list. But then mm. you, 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 you know what you want. Mm. So among the twelve, choose one according to you and then yeah. the rest you, you politely tell them that I, I, I am already engaged somewhere else I'm sorry you're good but I'm, I'm, not already, I'm not interested and also it's not okay for ladies to be rude when someone approaches you mm. and you want to reject them you don't have to be rude mm-hmm. because someone liking you is not a problem it's not a crime for someone to like you mm. but if they like yeah. you they come and approach and you don't like them back, be polite and be nice to them. Mm-hmm. Only that most men don't think that the right way. Mm-hmm. You become polite and say, no, I don't like you like that. Mm-hmm. And then he thinks, oh, this one I can get to her. Mm-hmm. Because it mm-hmm. didn't become tough. Yeah, yeah. So they keep pushing and pushing. Mm-hmm. Is that true? It's true. But what mm-hmm. I know, girls, girls, Some girls are girls. Girls. No, <laughs> okay. Some girls Some are them. in this yeah. uh, relationship issues, mm. but but I think to me what I'm seeing uh, nowadays in this generation, uh, these girls, they don't, they no longer fall in love, and now, really? yeah, they no longer. What have you? Have you? Wrong? Have you met girls? Uh, uh, you know, when I'm here, I think that's an analysis that yeah. you can When I'm here, make, no, when I'm here, when I'm here talking, your only, I'm, I'm yeah, talking. it has to be proved by yeah. some evidence. Have you seen them? Why, okay, why are you saying that? They are not falling in love. What are they doing? Like they are falling into loving Mark because of money. Nah. Oh my goodness. No, let me, we are not going to go into it. <laughs> but you guys that's need to it. understand that love is not enough. And, and that's <laughs> and what I can tell you. And that's why the people, that's right? why even we, you hear mm. we have uh, we, the Ministry of Health is saying people are sick. Mm-hmm. You get because young girls are falling into 
traps. <laughs> eh, because of money, they no longer need. Oh, you know, his own gamba is like ah, it's all innocent. You get. Mm-hmm. So even if uh, she's to love you, she will be just to pass time. But in a in a cha So that's the reason why I think girls they have like uh, seventeen twenty people on the list. You get. I know, 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 I I know, 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 I I know, 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 they end up joining you here here is it behind the other yes. one they get because they are heartbroken mm. because they didn't at first they didn't take it like the way they were supposed to take it but mm. they end up they have nothing to do and you know but she's feeling ashamed it's mm. like you know what even Mark will be will be like this and this and that. Let me just live and chill. Let so they end up joining the there. Yeah, so. yeah I, I think I want to agree with him yeah. because, mm. like I said, everyone has a list of things they want in a man or mm. in a yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, true. They are different things. So if I have a list and money is one of them, mm. money, education, mm. uh, family background, so there's nothing that stops me to follow that criteria that I selected as a woman, that a man that I should get should be having these uh, yeah, true. the following. So it is true that some girls and some young girls are going for older men because yeah. their list on top yeah. has money. And it is also true that there are girls who go for in a relationship ordinary men in a relationship mm. you propose to them you don't have the money and they still accept mm. yeah so it it all depends on one's list what they are looking for into uh, uh, from a man yeah so basically we uh, i think we shouldn't generalize individuals yeah. have different but 80% aspects. what is, no <laughs> we don't what, have you don't evidence have, to yeah, prove you don't have that it's uh, 80% uh, of uh, the women. women are really looking at money as yeah. the first uh, priority mm. in a man mm. yeah but there are some who are doing that and yeah. money is good why not <laughs> money is good <laughs> yeah. at times you end up yeah. no <laughs> money is good it's part of life and, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't want. To, I don't want to. Uh, and if the lady <laughs> feels that whoever has proposed to them doesn't have the money, mm. and that is what they are interested in, mm. they yeah. still reject you. Yeah. But there are some who will say, "I need a God-fearing man." Yeah. And once you're God-fearing, they don't look at the money. They don't look at the family background. They don't look at the qualification. They don't look at your qualification. Are they still there? Yeah, yeah they, they are, are there. there. I mean, I we attend these yeah, functions, just, the marriages, you need, and you. Yeah, you just need to find the person yeah. with you guys suit because. Mm. Talking about it, mm. so now that is off topic, but let's just ch- chip in a little. <laughs> yeah. okay. You meet a girl, mm. she's wearing expensive clothes, she's driving, she has no job, mm-hmm. and you're a guy who doesn't earn even more than 500 and you're approaching that lady. What do you want her to do for you? Mm. She doesn't, where do you think she's getting the money from? <laughs> Seriously, you see, you have to look for the right lady. Mm your own if you know you're going there then you you can manage mm. you know you can handle so stop blaming ladies for this <laughs> yeah i should break I, you I, later <laughs> you guys let us go in a short break okay i'll add on later all right come back. short break we shall be back you guys thank you so much for watching yeah just a minute Bananga ba mina bachara na zekuba nyonyora mtibo wa ngori na mukoro go na gori na oyagara kuyingi na nyumba ori na ronchi yokora ori na moteri ori na mbaga ori na urumbe ori na buri karunde yonda ngo oyagara ba kutere kuzumu YouTube wa mna ku Facebook oyagara kugamanta aito TV we ba sabolo kubera ngaba chukuru ya kuburu njio ba ina kamera nuni kambi ba rikiri yonyo ba mani chiba kora imbiuru zungu imbiuru ganda imbiuru nyankole buri karunde yon ba kutere kubutezi norwe chamu kwa na jafu tu Welcome back from that short break. You're still on the remedy. We're talking about we're talking about uh, moving on from from what? A rejection. From a rejection. So now 
let's talk about breakups you guys you are in a relationship maybe you you you, ha- you hit a good luck button and you joined the relationship things didn't work out in the way and you're in a breakup how do you handle <coughs> a breakup i've seen people fail to move on i've seen people i've had friends who have become depressed because of breakups i don't know if you two have some stories to share mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's very difficult to move on, especially if you were in too much love. You know, mm-hmm. love also is, is very subjective. You may yeah. think somebody loves you, but in their hearts of hearts, they, are, they actually don't love you that much. Mm, true. Uh, I read somewhere that if somebody loves you so much, they will not leave you for whatever reason. But if, yeah. you, but if they don't have that love, the natural love, Mm. Anything small that comes in between you will just separate you and that will be the end. <laughs> so I think first of all that love must be there, the natural love. And uh, once it, it bre- you, you break up, uh, mm. I think to either sex men and women, we mm. should try to put the feelings off first. I know you love this person mm. that much. Yeah. But then we get a way of removing the feelings from uh, the other person because oh. they, are, they are no longer with you. Mm. And so, like I hinted on before, you have to keep yourself busy, first mm. of all. The other person is gone. You, want to, you, you are in denial uh, in the first stage, but then at the end of the day, you need to accept accept that this person is gone and I need to move on and it, it takes a while for some people it can be a short while three mm. months six months but for others it may take a year or so so keep yourself busy join social groups uh, go into the travels long journeys uh, within Uganda or even outside Uganda socialize get exposed to other things mm. so that you can easily forget the past relationships that's what I would think somebody would handle a broken... Have you passed through a heartbreak before? I'm <laughs> same binge. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, I think my first breakup was in Sinufu. <laughs> what are you doing in a relationship? Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we are in Tonanti, Vieta, Gisa, you know. Mm. There are things that uh, help us to be experienced with life, you know. Okay. There are things that are mm. there, like we in a vow. Mm. Although our parents sometimes don't uh, know don't about it, they uh, don't tell us, but in a war, by no gamba, you know. But today, even people in P7, I like that boy, you get I like that girl. So, Things happen. Mm. They have grown up in this uh, social media, internet, era, eh, that mm. they know each and everything, even when they are young. Me, I, I, I got, I got a, a girl was in senior one, I think. I'm mm-hmm. senior two. I mean, second term. So we moved like Henry. for. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> for four <laughs> years, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, for senior one, senior two, senior three, mm-hmm. then four. So we were remaining with only, I think, two weeks mm. to your neighbor. So the guy was like, Why? That day, you get? Mm. With the reason Do you know that feeling? Like, why did she? No, like for her, after some time in the vacation, she, co- she gave me a call. She was like, Me, I wanted us to read first mm. so mere bigezo yeah, yeah. but she didn't tell me na eka tinze chance garam tine bigezo bya nakola na akole bigezo na ngo mutubu we mulaba ko mupepa whenever i could see her in a paper cuz she could sit there then i could sit here uh, so whenever and i was behind her mm. so whenever i could be sitting writing something and i look at her oh and she's smiling with someone else eh? Yeah, I no longer like, smile with her, but she's like, yeah, she's yeah. smiling so much. So, yeah. the I don't anything. I feel like everything yeah, was, heartbroken. Yeah, I was heartbroken. Like, I think, you could see here, you could see I was like, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but what uh, what I did, okay, my, 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 I was heartbroken for almost two years. 
my senior five. What? My senior six. Like mm-hmm. I, I didn't even date anyone. So you didn't move on. I didn't move on, yeah. but because I was like, all girls are the same. I don't mm-hmm. want to be like mm-hmm. I was last time. Because mm-hmm. uh, when she told me about that, I was like, why didn't you tell me? Mm-hmm. At least you say, you know what? Let us chill this for some time mm-hmm. first the read. first read and, and uh, I'll be in uh, in one heart I'll be like mm-hmm. ah, we are reading for the exams mm-hmm. but instead of you writing me later you're like we mm-hmm. stop not in a good mm-hmm. yeah you get so mm-hmm. uh, what I can say is that if you if you're to move on because after I moved on I'm okay for there. what do you think from what you know now mm. what do you think you would have done <coughs> no. the other two years uh, 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 if uh, what I would have done yeah to move on faster because it took mm. two years to yeah move. what I would have done is to uh, as she said mm. you have to keep yourself busy mm. you get mm. you have to keep yourself and do things that you know you be with people that give you peace because of yeah, course yeah. Uh, we all we are all here we have friends yeah. that are always there for us so you have to look for those people because whenever you stay alone like you sit in a private place you're there then just know every time you'll be thinking about the other thing yeah. so all you have to do is to forget try like try your level best get things to make you busy as she said mm-hmm. you get so make sure you look for things that you know that make you more comfortable give you peace mm-hmm. you get because even if you if someone if someone says no mostly in girls if a girl says i no longer want him i no longer want her that's it. Girls decide they are not like we boys. But no. That's a no. So at times we boys we have to say you have to chill and be like that's how it is supposed to be. Let me chill. Although it's hard, but you put it to, into your uh, like be busy. Like as she said, I think. Because I also took myself to be busy, uh, like stay away. Like when you're taking drugs and they're like make sure that you're in a place where you cannot even access a smoke mm-hmm. you get so that's what i could advise my friends my uh, the fellow guys mm-hmm. you just make sure that you do this in a way that you can hide yourself from looking at her mm-hmm. her pics maybe a mm-hmm. uh, social media platform you get yeah, yeah. you you have to stay away like it, we make say abstain from her <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And again, what I can tell my people, if you keep with that hatred here, mm-hmm. you can end up doing something bad. Mm-hmm. Why well, I can say you just forgive, but deny access mm-hmm. yeah, to you. You yes. get that's what I can, and that's what I did. But now I am in peace. She even calls me, hi, hi, mm-hmm. how are you? Mm-hmm. And one day she asked me, but what happened? I was like, watch him, man. You know what happened. Mm-hmm. You get because I think she saw life is moving on mm-hmm. so well. You get. Yeah. So, yes, you have to be so mugumu. Mm. Yeah, things change, and yeah. 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 So you have to abstain mm. from her social media, mm. his or her social media platform. Mm. Abstain from her videos, because uh, every time you look at anything, anything surrounding her, mm. like makes you remind, uh, remember her, mm. then you're gone. Because if mm. you can't control yeah. yourself, mm-hmm. trust me, you can die. Yeah. Stress? Yeah, oh. stress, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I have stories from my younger friends mm. who are <laughs> of your age. Mm. So they say when they break up, they have to block you on WhatsApp, they block you, mm. they unfriend you on Facebook. Mm. Like they don't want anything to be in contact with, with you. you. Mm. Just to let them forget. You know, the mind can be affected by yeah. a broken relationship. And so if you want to keep yourself busy, Mm. Just shut down everything that can connect you to this person. Mm. You don't want to text them, you don't want to call them every now and then. You want to be yourself because you, you want to uh, to be assisted to move on. Yeah. But if you keep uh, maybe looking at their status updates, looking at everything they post on Facebook, yeah. the anger keeps on increasing. Yeah. So. I think I, I I encourage them to do that. I, I, I mean, think most of, I think most of the time mm. it should start with first of all the relationship you're in mm. that is going to break. When you're in a relationship with someone, I don't like 
getting comfortable in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Anything could happen. Sure. When you're in a relationship, anything could happen. This is a stranger you met on the way. You guys are not born together. You mm. you created a bond, but you never know. Mm. There's some secrets in someone that you you've never found really. So I think it is very dangerous when you reach a point of creating a hope in someone. You meet someone, you're, you're always telling him your problems, you're, like you feel your life is surrounded around that person. <clears throat> so it will be hard for you to move on. Mm-hmm. When you're in a relationship, give yourself space. Love someone and love yourself more than you love the other person. Mm-hmm. So that when you move on, you still have something for yourself. You could move on from someone and hate yourself because the, your, your love, all of it was given to someone else mm-hmm. and nothing left for you. Mm-hmm. So when it happens, when you love yourself and break up, someone breaks up with you, you're like, I still have myself anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, it hurts, yeah, but it gets easier for you to move on. I'm not saying don't love a person mm-hmm. when you're in a relationship, <laughs> but, but be sane. More. Like, don't fall. Step yeah. into but a see, relationship. We have like two different uh, relationships. I think we have this. Uh, there is a when you find, let's say, me and you, we are too close friends, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, we end up falling in love you get yeah. then there are these people that meet maybe in a bus maybe on the way maybe we in a party and then they be a, they connect from there mm-hmm. so these are, are different two things there are these best friends yeah. you yeah. get you my best friend we have always been together from primary secondary yeah. high school eh? yeah. you know university mm-hmm. At the end of the day, we are in relationship, but of course... You know why you ended up falling in a relationship with that person? Mm. Yeah. You guys became friends. I'm telling you, you created the home. Like, they became a safe space mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. Every time you have a problem, they're the ones you're telling. Every time you feel like they will leave you from something, you get. So when they are away from you, you feel there is something missing in your life. You're like, why don't I make you something more? Why don't I make her something more than just a friend? Mm. So you end up being in a relationship. Yeah. So that is that, dangerous. That, that, uh, <laughs> eh? yeah, and and me, what I know, they already say, for you fall to, in to relationship with your best friend who understands but you. Fall in love with someone and make them your best friend. friend. Yeah, but but for, uh, of course, friendship is created. Yes. It doesn't matter where I meet you, yeah, whether true. in a bus or a train or in the market or in, even in church. People mm. have met in church and they, they have uh, like grown their relationship from that. Mm. So whichever way, love can come first. You crush on someone and say, I think I, I like this person. Then you start the friendship slowly, yeah, true, slowly. True. At the end of the day, you get to what you wanted from the person. Mm-hmm. Or the friendship can come first before any love comes in the picture. And then mm-hmm. along yes. the way, you say, okay, she, she's been my friend for the last five years, but I think I've developed feelings for her. Yeah. And you hint on her. Mm. You don't know, maybe she might accept or reject you, but, but, but you, at least now you ha- we have yeah. tips of how to handle rejection, yeah. so... <laughs> but you guys, don't you know that, don't you guys see that this love thing is, is a mind game? It's a, you see someone, if you crush on them and let it go, it, it loosens with time. Mm-hmm. But if you crush on them and keep it in your head and look at them every time and think about it, it becomes love. Yeah. Because you have taught your mind to do that. Yeah. So if I'm in love with someone, yeah. I I think it's okay to give myself that space. I love you so much, but I have myself. And when you're away, I can still breathe and be. So normal. you don't have to be too much. Be in love, but don't love be in too okay, him just more. love yourself. I think no, love yourself more than you love other people. Mm. Then that way you can even love someone the right way. Because if you, <laughs> Henry, yeah. you're going to be okay. So if you lo- if you don't love yourself, yeah. it becomes hard to love the other person. Yeah. It becomes the other person's responsibility to take care of you instead of you taking care of yourself, yeah. and you become a burden. That is how breakups start, and then it becomes hard for you to, to move to on. Move on yeah. So when something like that happens and you're to move on, it becomes hard. <laughs> Henry, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. I see. You're very much affected. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I think okay. That's what I think. Mm. Maybe if you guys don't, and maybe when you've already fallen, mm. you guys have already broken up. Mm. Yeah, you can do what you're saying. And say, there are these people who who break up, but still. That's Whenever they meet, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we have friends that will break up with you, and you mm-hmm. have your friend, 
watch be like that mark you know this that i saw hey, hey, hey. Yeah. and at the end of the day in the evening they meet they see each th- themselves they're like yes. baby one go yeah. Yeah. They, meet <laughs> they meet again meet they start pain. talking <laughs> do you know what yeah. this and this happened hey okay so the, so the relationships that these guys are when they are friends there's a difference between who who, who we are friends at first and these guys who just met trust me yeah, it's very, very different possible to get back together even after breakup yeah, mm. yeah it's, it's possible because but is it good it's good if you're in a healthy relationship yeah. with someone who you guys understand <laughs> each other properly mm. you break mm. up you mm-hmm. still understand each other <laughs> people have issues even yeah. our parents mm-hmm. broke up a certain point and in our marriage and their marriages and they, we didn't know and these parents yeah. have something together. that's connected to them exactly yeah, you too you have kids. a bond you and love the each other bond already mm. so mm. maybe but yeah, I, I, it's possible to get uh, back together even yeah. when you had issues. Mm. Along the way, you may, you may maybe forgive the mm. other person, or you may look at the issues as minor. And that, that made depends you on how you broke up. Exactly. If you break up and you're fighting and mm. you're abusing each other, that's yeah, not yeah. Cool. I think it, it depends yeah. on the magnitude of the reasons why you you guys broke up. Mm. People mm. have been in very abusive relationships. Yeah. Yeah, I Very have a story toxic. about that, but it's not for this uh, <laughs> session. <laughs> so you are in hey, this uh, abusive time. relationship. Mm. The guy is uh, maybe psychologically torturing you with words, mm. or the yeah, woman yeah, yeah. also can mm. torture you with words. Mm. And then there are violent relationships. I mean, you're not even yet married to this guy. But he's beating you, he's shouting at you, he's doing uh, all sorts yeah. of nonsense to you. And so you're like, what am I doing here? Mm. This is a person you're... When you're dating, you're looking at the future. Yeah, so this definitely. is the person you, you are into and you think you will get married at one day. And here they are starting to do all sorts of, of things on you mm. before even you tie the knot. So you have to really think twice. Yes. If someone does that when they're still dating yeah. you, mm. when they marry you, they will they lose will it like completely yeah, because they're now comfortable. And that's why that comes back to the other thing I told you. You know me, I, 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 the other one being best friends. If at first, if I'm your best friend, I know what you hate, what you love. You okay. get? Mm-hmm. So when we are in a relationship, mm. automatically I'll be knowing she hates this, she loves this. Mm-hmm. You get? And sometimes that relationship, it is so, so, so hard for them to break up. Yes, fine, they might get issues, mm-hmm. but issues like but if you guys just meet and you don't know each, yourselves maybe that one is uh, urinating on the bed yeah. so you know <laughs> that life be like one nang and you go down there you're telling your friends one nang i have a girlfriend who you need on the bed you get because <laughs> you didn't but if you have someone i have you and i know you even if you're doing something bad but if i loved you and you have always been friends i've been used to that mm. it's it's very hard for me to like to break up with you yeah because already i knew okay. and i i, I we fall we were fell oh, fall, we fallen in love yet mm. i knew so mm. why would i be breaking up with you yeah, yeah. it's very yeah. hard so me what i would advise to my mm. to my friends out there mm. fellow guys mm. is to please and please understand someone first mm. fall in love with someone who is your best friend? That's mm. what I can tell you. Then, lastly, about moving on from a breakup, the uh, last words you can give. Uh, moving advice. on from a breakup, as I've told you, as she has told you, you have to be like always, always accept, as you can say, that I've lost someone and she, he or she will never come back. So, accept and always forgive but deny access that's what i can tell you <laughs> deny <Yeah>. access <laughs> all right christine yeah. let's yeah i up. think uh, let's uh, you can uh, be allowed to go uh, through that grief when you mm. uh, you're broken up uh, and your relationship goes uh, down there's that kind of grief that comes both of you can feel it so allow yourself to go through that grief mm. ladies we like crying i don't know it's natural the tears just yeah. come <laughs> through so if cry you have to your cry out. cry your heart out uh like i said please uh talk to friends 
mm. about it. We know we have close friends who can give us even much more advice uh, that can help us if mm. we are into these uh, challenges. So talk about it with your close friends whom you trust. They are friends whom we don't trust. So yeah. just uh, make your mark and say, at least I can talk to Christine about this and see what she thinks. Mm. And the, your friend will help you to, to move on. Mm. Uh, some people go for counseling. Counseling is also a good thing. If you yeah. can find a counselor, tell your story, tell your heart out, and then uh, be helped. And then, like we said, distance yourself from the the guy or the lady that you have broken up with. Do not uh, uh, like go into these the spaces where they are always are, because mm. whenever you meet them, then it comes back to haunt you. Mm. I know the the men or women might have friends that you you still want to socialize with, but fi find a way of avoiding. Mm. The space is where you can meet this guy and then bring it brings up the anger again. Yes. Get busy. The most most important thing is get busy with your life. We have other things that life can offer, can offer really yeah, outside love. Mm. Uh, go and uh, maybe uh, go for further education, concentrate there. If you're working, concentrate on your job. Uh, keep busy. If you want to start a business, start a business and keep running around. That will help sure. you to forget the other person so so quickly. Yeah. And then at a later stage, you can move on uh, with a, into another relationship. But it should take time. Do not the rush. Yeah, do not rush into a, a new relationship uh, mm. so quickly. Yeah. First, heal, heal. Forget the other person, and then God will bring you another opportunity. With the person you can find some yeah they should uh, love. yeah they should collect when you fall in relationship again eh? mm -hmm. first collect what made you lose the other one. You lose yeah, the other exactly. <laughs> so it is, right. is where uh, mm -hmm. yeah you can always collect your mistakes mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and mistakes can be either way yeah so true. the guy might be the wrong in wrong or the lady so mm -hmm. whoever was in wrong you can ensure that in the next relationship you try to avoid the things that brought the previous uh, breakup. Yeah, mm. true. Mm. Thank you so much. I wish we had all day because we really have a lot to talk about. But yeah, you guys, you've been watching The Remedy. We, we've talked about breakups, how to move on from breakups. In case you're battling with something like that, I would like to say, please, love yourself more than any other person can love you. <coughs> And after you've broken up, you will still have yourself. Don't put your life in someone's hands. People who are in toxic relationships move out and have the courage to move out. Mm -hmm. Because you love yourself, you don't want someone else to put harm on you. <laughs> Mark is laughing at me, but that's the truth. If you love yourself more than someone else loves you, you're going to easily move out of a relationship if it is wrong. Yeah, for real. And when you move out, have hopes that there are very good mm -hmm. people out there. Mm -hmm. So you can always move on and grab yourself a good girlfriend, a good boyfriend, a good husband, a good wife. And yes. ladies, make money because make if you money. don't have the money, mm. then you will be lured into another wrong relationship. Yeah, 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 true. Make sure you make the money and be yourself. Have yeah. fun. Uh, like, be there. And don't... men give us money. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You've been on the remedy. I've been with Christine and Mark. It has been fun. Till next Saturday, you guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening. You're watching a hit TV empowering you.